Hey, how's it going? It's Ethan with HustlePaintball.com. I can show you how to install a response trigger on your Tippin 98. What I've got here is a 98 Platinum series, so it's gonna be a little bit different depending on if you have a non-Platinum version, but I'm sure by now there's enough information on the difference between the Platinum and the non that you'll probably be able to figure it out. Let's go ahead, pull the camera in, get a nice close view, and show you how to install it. We're gonna take it outside and shoot some stuff. Okay, what comes in the box? What we've got, we've got your flow control valve, with your hose, your banjo fitting. We've got the actual response piston itself. We've got an adjustment screwdriver, an improved sear spring, a longer hose for something like a Project Salvo that would actually replace this part here, but I'm showing you how to install it on a 98, so we're gonna ignore that. And then we've got a, another sear spring. This is what you'd use if you have a Model 98. Now, if you do have a Model 98 or 98 Custom with a serial below 102201, or a 98 Custom Pro with a serial number below 0015601, call Tipman Sports, because you're gonna need some additional stuff. Their number's 800-533-4831. But if you don't, keep watching. Let's start by removing your barrel. It's just gonna get in the way, and it's not necessary. Okay, we've got a couple screws we need to remove, so let's get started on that. I've got the bolts loosened, so I'm gonna lift off this back body half. Careful now, some springs can go flying. Now, we're gonna focus just on the back half, so I'm gonna zoom in a bit. Wanna take out your main components and just get them out of the way for now. All right, sear, sear spring. This is gonna be the uh, spring that you're replacing. Your rear plug, rear bolt, main spring, etc. cetera. I'm gonna leave this in for now. As you can see, there's a channel that's already grooved out here, and this is where this is going to go. It's gonna sit in there just fine. But you'll notice we've got an issue. Right here, this needs to be punched out. So we're gonna grab a punch tool and a hammer. All right, we've got our hammer, we've got our punch. Let's get to it. And we have a hole in the table now. But we've also got a hole in the gun, and that's what's important. Let's go ahead and put on our uh, main response cylinder in place. Flip the gun over, and you'll see we've got a threaded hole now. You wanna hold it on the other side so it doesn't get pushed back on through. Line up your flow control valve and hand thread that in first, and then grab a, you can use a fixed wrench or a crescent wrench. I prefer a socket set, it's 5 sixteenths, and go ahead and tighten that down. Do not use the adjustment screw for this part. Cool, at this point in time, We've got our response cylinder fully locked into place. And what I'm gonna do actually just to make this nice and easy is I'm gonna go ahead and put everything else back together. Now that we've got this securely bolted in place, let's get the gun back together, do the final steps, tune it, shoot some paint. Now I've got the gun put back together and flipped on over. Go ahead and remove one of these power tube plugs. Now, it doesn't matter which one you do, you have two, so you can put a cyclone feed system on at the same time as your response trigger. We are, however, going to be rocking it like a true boss. I'm gonna be putting a rotor on this bad boy. Sorry for blocking the camera, I wanna make sure I get this in right. Go ahead and thread the banjo fitting in, and then it'll be time to tune the RT. All right, we're outside, we've got our die rotor fully loaded up, let's see what this bad boy can do. As you can see, you've got both rapid fire and trigger control. This thing's a lot of fun. Response trigger is one of the more complicated upgrades you can do to the 98. It really is not hard. Do what I always say. Have a nice clean workspace, watch one of our videos, and enjoy yourself. It's that simple. Now, hold on, there's a blooper coming up, but before we get to that, 
Email us at videos at hustlepaintball.com if you've got any questions about the 98, about the response trigger, or any other paintball products. Go to our website, hustlepaintball.com. People ask, hey, where can I buy that response trigger? Where can I buy that 98? There's this great site that we have. We've got a lot of cool stuff on it. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Read our blog. We actually update it. And we're not just updating with, hey, this product's back in stock. We actually talk about stuff that you're probably interested in reading. Go to pbriot.com. Join the forum. Interact with the other ballers. Have a good time. You can, you can ask questions about upgrades. You can just hang out, chat, whatever it is. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. Bloopers coming up. See you guys soon. Take 26. Now that we've got our hole punched out, let's go ahead and grab the main response cylinder and drop that into place. If it's nice and snugly, flip over your gun and look, we've got a threaded portion here. The flow control adapter is going to thread right into there. You may need to hold it from the back. You're actually not going to use that small address, adjustment screwdriver. You're going to be using a tool I don't have on the table because I'm a scrub. So I'm going to go get that tool and then we're going to do this again. <laughs> <laughs>